if you're thinking of buying a Triumph TR6 but would like to road test it, please control yourself. Alright, so uh, a couple guys wanted to see more of the gas welding, so I will show a little more. I made a mark down here before I started.
fucked up. Fucked it up right here. This is pretty nice. There's an overlap. Alright, so it's the next day and I am a little bit bummed because I made this really nice patch and I kind of screwed it up. And the reason I screwed up is because I got impatient. So, it's tack, 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 and I was hammer welding. And then I, right about here I started thinking, gosh, it's 10 o'clock at night, my wife and kids are asleep, and I stopped hammer welding because I didn't want to wake anybody up. And then what happened is, here, it started screwing up. They went, the, they went out of alignment. And then I went through here, and then I came back and started welding this. And this actually looks pretty nice for gas welding. And here it's all fucked up because I started melting that top edge, not the bottom. I mean, I could fix it, and I will. I'm just kind of bummed that I had an otherwise very nice patch. So. You know, so when the when you weld the the metal and you tack it along and you're tacking down and it wants to open up and I stopped hammer welding and as it shrinks it shrink shrank past and that's what happened here and the reason I got impatient is not because of anything technical that I did wrong it was because I wanted I was impatient and I wanted to put this patch on today god damn it you know like last night and I, if I'd done it in the daytime I wouldn't have been freaked out about making a shitload of noise in the garage so if I'd just been more patient and done it today I'm guessing that it all would have looked like that so now we'll fix it Okay, so a little Dremel, a little hammer and dolly, and the shape is back. Hopefully I can repair that and make it look like that.
why I couldn't do that last night, I don't know. I'll finish this spot once I form this plan. And here's the finished weld. Here's where it had overlapped. Sorry, I'll hold it perpendicular. And I went over it here, and I'm, like I said, I'm going to finish this flange. I want to get this curve right coming down here. And I'll, uh, I might MIG weld that up. So we'll see. Great cars and a great deal more. Great cars and a great deal more.